Now that you have your project file, it's time to start the part. You cannot click on part. You must click on new or this little new icon up here. Reason being, we're going to use a sheet metal part file instead of a standard part. So go to create after clicking sheet metal part file. And before we go to make a sketch, we're going to change our sheet metal defaults. It defaults to a thicker metal than what we currently have. So we're going to uncheck thickness from rule. And we're going to change that thickness to 0 0.02. This is similar to what we have in the shop. So click apply, X, and now we can start our 2D sketch. We're going to start on the XZ plane. Right click and choose your two point rectangle. Start on the origin. And this is going to be two and a half inches wide and 3.625 tall. So we should get a rectangle. And when you go to finish sketch, you'll notice that there's not an extrude feature. Instead, it has face. Uh, so when we went through and we told it how thick the sheet metal was, that's how thick it's going to be after you click face. All right? It's assuming everything is that thickness. So things are a little different. Uh, we also have tools like flange. So click flange. If you click the top edge here, we're going to make a one and a half, so 1.5 inch flange on the front side. And we're going to have a two and a quarter, 2.25 inch flange on the back side. We will also have a half inch flange on either side here. So there's a half inch and over here is also another half inch. Hit apply. We're going to edit these first. So click on that to turn it blue, right click on it and choose new sketch. Right click and choose project geometry and click on this rectangle here so it all turns yellow. Right click and go to line and start at that corner. Click your mouse somewhere up here. We'll fix that in a second. Click on the corner. Click your mouse somewhere up here. Right click and say OK. We're going to trim these off. So right click and choose trim and click each of those line pieces. Right click and choose dimension. And we're going to make these both 45 degree angles. So 45 green line, yellow line, click between 45. Okay, we're going to finish our sketch and choose cut. I'll click those two corners that we just made, change my distance here to all, which is also going to cut it from this other side here. If we click on this face so it turns blue, right click and go to new sketch, we can right click one more time for project geometry and highlight that whole rectangle so it all turns yellow. We have to click it, say OK, and we're going to use a two point rectangle. We'll start at this corner and this always seems to give me trouble. So I'm not going to try and line up down here. I'm instead going to leave it up here somewhere and you see how the width one is highlighting and changing. We're going to make that 0.5 and click enter. We're going to do something similar over on this side. Start with the corner, type in 0.5 and click enter. Now I'm going to use my horizontal constraint here. I'm going to line up that corner with this yellow line and the yellow line with this other corner. Okay. And we also need to make flanges on this. So uh, we're going to make a little cutout. So I'm going to draw a line. Start at the corner and draw a line. Say OK. Right click, create line, start at the corner, draw up above it. Line, start at the corner, draw up above it. OK. Right click and choose trim. We're going to trim off those edges. We're going to trim off this space between here. And I'm going to make these lines on the top disappear. It's not going to like it if I trim this off because it has a 0.5 attached to it. It would yell at me. So instead I'm going to right click and say OK. Right click on the line to make it a construction line. 
right click, choose construction. Oop, and there I did something wrong. Uh, click it to make it turn blue, right click construction, click it to make it turn blue, then right click construction. Okay, now these don't have a specific angle yet, so I have to come back and say that from there to there is a 45, and from there to there is a 45. There to there is a 45, and there to there is also a 45. Okay, we should still be at a half inch, but we're not. Something changed. So I'm going to make that a half inch again. I'm going to make sure this is a half inch again. And something's wrong. I grab my horizontal constraint and click on this line. It's going to make sure that line stays horizontal there. Something's funky over here, too. Man. I thought I had that figured out. All right, horizontal line. That needs to be horizontal. Okay. All right, now we're definitely good. You should have a half inch over, 45 degrees cut off of each side there. Uh, that should give us plenty of metal that we can put a spot weld on. We are going to finish this sketch and choose face again and click on each of these pieces. Say apply. Cancel. And I want to rotate to where I can see the inside of the box. We're going to right click, first click to turn blue, left click, then right click and say new sketch. Right click and go to project geometry. Right click on this shape here. Right click and say OK. Right click and go down to slice graphics or you can click F7. Either way. Okay. We're going to right click, choose create line, go from the top of that corner to the bottom of that corner, bottom of that corner to the top of that corner. You should get two blue lines. Finish your sketch. And we're going to tell it to fold this line. And I want this to fold in. And right now it's telling me it's going to fold out, which isn't possible. So make sure that we flip this around where it looks like it's going out and toward us and that is going to be a 90 degree angle so that looks good and ah I lost my other line here so I have to right click make a new sketch hit my F7 button right click go to project geometry click on the inside so I get my yellow lines right click go to line from the top down to the bottom say OK finish my sketch Save fold, click my line, and say apply. We are almost done, but this video is getting a little long, so we're going to pause where we're at, and uh, that will give you a chance to ask questions, and if you need to, um, you can save your work.